Hi, my name is Jeff Matz. I'm associate scientist here at Parker Lord. And today we're gonna to do a seaming demonstration with CB150, where we bond rubber to rubber. We're gonna be using half inch thickness, 12 inches long, and it's a three inch inner diameter circle with high strain. So now we're gonna take CB102CS and we're gonna heavily saturate a rag. And then we're going to take this rag and we're going to clean the ends of the rubber. You can see that it's taking the dust, the dirt, residual rubber from the cutting process and it's cleaning it off of the rag and it's treating the surface of the rubber. So after the treatment of the 102 CS on the rubber, we want to allow this to dry for five minutes before applying the CB150. Now that the rubber's dry, we're going to give our container a, a small mix just to ensure there's no settling. And then we're going to apply a uniform coat across the edge of the rubber. And you want to slightly overlap the side to ensure that you'll have a good bond. So after we've allowed the seam to air dry for an hour, we're going to perform a tack test. We're gonna bring the edges together and we're gonna stick it to itself. And as you can see, it holds. If the material was to have slipped apart and not stuck together, that means you allowed it to dry for too long and a re-tack would be required where you would use xylene on a rag, do a quick wipe and allow 10 minutes and you'd be able to seam the material to itself. But now that it's holding, we're going to finish the seam. And we're gonna press the edges together to ensure that there's no gaps or bubbles between the contact of the material. And then you can see that it's strong enough that we can flip the rubber inside out instantaneously. And this is how easy it is to seam our CB150 one part system. Okay.